Hello and welcome to another 2v2 Napoleon Total War multiplayer battle. It is again me, uh, Texanus Maximus, and my good buddy Lieutenant Burnside as the Prussians. And we are going up against the French. Now, this is a very fun battle. The rules were no fix, no unicorns, as the per the use. And uh, let's just check out the armies real quick. I'll go ahead and get this thing cracking, but um, I brought one heart, one heart, uh, my goodness, one Howie, and two horse artillery. The rest were uh, musketeers, I think I brought four musketeers, three lifeguards, uh, one is called the 8th Life Regiment, it's a special one, and I brought two of the uh, Sedatin. Uh, or Schuschlin, which are the long range, and actually it looks like I brought two landwehr as well. Now my partner, he brought a howitzer, uh, two and two horse artillery as well. He brought two of pretty much the exact same army almost uh, that I did. I think he brought one more light infantry, and he got yeah, pretty much the same. So. What's the point? Okay, so first let's actually check out the uh, the battlefield. So and our opponent. So the opponents look like they got three long range on this end, mostly foot here. They also have a six pounder down here. They got the old guard, old guard, young guard, and the 18th regiment, the brave. Down here you got the dragoons, emperor's dragoons, and dragoons here. Also, it looks like he brought over some of his guys and brought them up here. I actually did not know that he did that. So, one big thing that my guy brought was four howitzers. So, one, two, three, four. So, you know he wants to camp. He wants to just shoot you and uh, it's going to be dumb. So, because we saw that, I said, hey, let's all come to your side. Let's defeat your guy and then eventually come and defeat my guy. So, that's exactly the plan. I'm going to leave a whole holding force here. Uh, I also set up my guys just outside uh, beyond this uh, hill, and that way if he did have any artillery, he wouldn't be able to get me, but he does have howitzer, so that is not really a big deal. So where's my guys? I'm bringing my, uh, looks like I'm bringing all my artillery up here. I do change that here in just a second, and I am bringing some of my guys here. We'll speed this up just for a second so everything get kind of in place. Everyone kind of stays in their four corners except for me and Burnside. He does, this French guy does realize that we are coming to his mountain. So we are, he does kind of turtle up a little bit. My guy doesn't really do anything as well. Let's go see what my guy is doing actually. Over here, there it is. So he sets up right here out of range, doesn't really know what he's doing, just really wanting the stake and not not really be aggressive. I bring, I leave just enough guys to make him think that I could be a threat, but really my army is all down here. So here's the plan. He's, Burnside is going to attack from this side, and I am going to attack from this side. So we shall see how that plays out. Let's get my boys up in position. I do, as you see, I do bring one of my guys up here, and uh, my other one stays right here for whenever I'm ready to deploy them. And those are my horse artillery. Those are good, fast units that I can get places quickly. And we are getting prepped. So, looks like they do end up getting some artillery in range of me now. I am firing back. They did reposition them. Um, and they are repositioning the rest of them, but for the most part, I'm not even going to look at this side of the battle at all. Pretty much the whole game. Yeah, until the end, at least. So, Burnside is getting in position. He, everyone's walking. No need to get everyone tired. I did run my guys a little bit just to get them in position because I did have to go across the map. So, these guys are a little winded, but let's see what happens here. So, I do get my Schrutzen in there, and uh, I'm trying to take out this battery, but really, it's not a good position. You can see they are kind of beyond the sill, and oh, I did get one. Oh, I got three, actually. Look at that. 
but still, I'm shooting mostly into this hill, and that's not really what you want. He does see me. He does uh, come at me with the horses. I see it. Run back into this house. At least I'm trying to, and I do get these land where in position to where I can fire at him as well as these land where as well. He does slow down for some odd reason. I don't know. And uh, but for the most part, I get him. I get him all the safety. 51 out of 60 into the house and now they're getting fired upon by two different directions and but I do get in the flank of this guy so I did just give an attack order I should have just put him in line they would have fired but that was my own fault as you can see this guy is not moving he is starting to unload on me a little bit more uh, Burnside does kind of give me a heads up of this here in just a minute because I am going to start losing some boys here. I am already. But we are about in position now. You can kind of see the map. We have pretty much our entire squad all right there. And now it's time for the push. So let's see if I can't get a good... Oh yeah. Yeah, this is getting a little nasty. This is about the point where I say, alright, let's get out of here. I will in a minute. I'm gonna let him keep shooting at me though. Oh, now he does finally peel some of his guys off. So he says, you know what, maybe I should really think about coming over and helping out my guys. Does have some horses in the background. Oh, by the way, I do end up bringing some horses up of my own. Uh, and I do also bring up my artillery piece right here, unlimber it here shortly, and I will have some good canister fire coming uphill. So that's not the best, most ideal spot, but at the same time, it's better than nothing. Alright, I do believe I get my boys out of the line of fire. Yeah, they're just murdering me up here now. Oof. Yeah, I lost too many men. And I lost over about 50 men all together, it looks like. But that's alright. We're getting him out of the firing range at this point. And now he's going to have to start focusing down here. So, you can just see he's waiting. He's waiting. He's not going to crest the hill until he has to. He has Polish, 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 Fusiliers, Fusilier, Fusilier. But back here is Old Guard, Old Guard, Young Guard, Young, uh, the Brave. So, the really good back line. And really, he could have pushed me a little bit more on this end, but I think he was really worried about Burnside and his whole army contingent over here. I do also have my horse artillery up here just waiting in the wings. Uh, yeah, I believe this one is mine right here. I do get my guy unlimbered, and I did bring up my foot guards. They came rolling through the town, and I do get them positioned to counter this guy. So this should be a a little skirmish here. Let's see about getting some. Oh, I don't in the living room yet. Apparently, I'm waiting for the right time. <laughs> Alright. So, I do finally get these guys in. Let's just watch this for a second. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, they're dropping like flies. Lifeguards don't play. Ooh, ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Ten guys going down at it once. Alright. And are we pushing the hill? We are finally pushing the hill. So I did move up my boys a little bit. I only got three guns. For some reason, I limbered them, unlimbered them, and one of my guns got stuck on the road. Don't ask me. I don't know. It's really dumb. But this is the battle now. So you can see he pushed up his lines up there. He is moving his young guard and old guard off to the left flank. Burnside's going to have a little bit of issue with that. Um, at the same time, uh, this is getting pushed away. Can't fire at me now that I've moved all my guys over. If he wants to shoot at this guy, that's fine. If he wants to shoot at this guy, that's fine. But that look like he is. I'm leaving these two horses over here. I don't know if they're hidden, but I think that uh, he doesn't know about them. Or he's not really paying attention, but we're going to see if that plays a factor in the late game. Uh, let's go check out what Burnside's doing over here with the push on the right. It's looking a little, a little dicey for him. 
Ooh, Old Guard versus Musketeers. That's not going to be good. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's down to 83. He's down to 106. 105. Oh no. Yeah, 76. Falling fast. Alright, so I say, Baron said, I have an extra cannon. Where do you need it? I'm going to put it right around here somewhere. I'm going to realize that in just a second. But I do end up putting my horses over here now. And we did clean this up. Oh, he charged me. I forgot about that. He did charge me with into my eight life regiment which those guys those guys are special uh but it was the polish legion they are fairly decent i'm shooting them in the back with lane wear and melee them as well uh i did see an opening here with the light infantry i went ahead and doing my hussars before they could do any real damage i should have probably went up here and got his artillery out of the way but at the same time i was thinking let's just get that done do have some land wear here got my foot guards and my foot guards here so Oh, here they go. Charging in. I do have my cannons ready. Oh, in terrible, terrible position. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, they're coming. And oh, oh, Nelly. <laughs> big, big moves, big moves. So they're coming in. Oh, what? They stopped. They're running away. Big, big mistakes. Big mistakes made right there. That's, I mean, honestly, they should have kept going. They could have uh, uh, bayonet charged this guy. They could have gone out of my lines, but now they're just running like a uh, bunch of carnival <laughs> shooting galleries. Oh, and now they're just all dying. Let's go check back on Burnside's side real quick. Looks like he's falling fast. Uh, old guard against the lifeguard. And he does have some it did bring some uh, artillery up here. I did not notice that. And I think that actually helped him quite a bit. He needed to get the shot off. Can he get it? Oh, he can, but it did not go well. Uh, it looks like the old guard is going to get into it. Actually, let's just finish that. I, I don't even know what happens here. Oh, he does get into it. Yeah, so those guys are gone. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's keep following up what's down here. I am layering my guys a little bit. Uh, no more help from his buddy still. That's really dumb. If his buddy came over and helped him right now, like with all his army, it would be pretty devastating. I think, I don't know if we could have uh, really withstood all that might. Because he's still got quite a bit of line right here. He needs to really put these guys in a longer line because right now my one foot guard's putting out just as many bullets as all three of his lines right here. Uh, let's see what else is happening. I did end up getting my uh, oh, I am bringing up my horse artillery right now. They are trying to get up this hill but it is a tough go. I'm trying to put them right there. Um, actually not a great move actually. So We'll see how that turns out here in just a second. He still is pumping with the Howie, which is doing a lot of damage. My foot guards are finally starting to wither a little bit. He really needs to come in and charge me right about now. Uh, but as I said, I do have layers down here. Oh, and he is starting to put some things on me now. Looks like he did move the howitzers into a better position. He put them on this side of the hill instead of trying to fire at my other side. And, oh, he's starting to crack. He is starting to crack. And what's happening over here? I do get my uh, horse artillery in position. Get him unlimbered. And I've already started. I already lost one. And I lost two guys. So this is not looking great for me. Uh, Burnside is pretty good up here on the flank room on this position. I probably should have put my horse artillery up here. All things considered. Yeah, because now I'm down to 11 guys. Hey. And did I even get one shot? I did get one shot. It was a shit shot. What does it look like to be in here? Eh, pretty decent spot, but yeah. They're gonna die. <laughs> More of the story is they're gonna die. Oh, he does get the horses in on me finally. I'm sorry I missed that. He did charge me. I am refocusing. And uh, yeah, that was a bad day. I lost all my horse ardor right there. And it's no bueno. But, because of that, I do notice, um, 
Well, not because of that, but I am going to notice soon that he doesn't really have these art these Howies uh, uh, protected no more, and I do still have my Hazards in the wings. So after I get done with these guys, I will get some redemption for this BS. So we are fighting uphill against Olgard and 18th uh, Regiment, uh, the Brave, uh, Young Guard, and just Fusiliers. Holding our own pretty well, I'd say. I was distracting them down here. Finally won my flank. I'm going up the hill and charging. It was, the horse was uh, the last contestant. And that was it. Oh, we got a good, oh, another good uh, canister. But that's alright. I have too many boys for us to stop now. And we're going to keep going. Keep going up. Keep going up. And yeah, we're going to try to outflank this side. And it is going to be all over except for the crying here. Yep, they're falling apart. Falling apart a little bit here. Oh, he's put another canister on me. I'm finally going to get them, you know, very tired uphill, it does tend to make you feel very slow. Ow! Good lord! Yeah, well, looks like Burns. oh yeah, Burnside was bitching so hard. His general clashed with his, uh, the other general, and the other general only had like five guys, and he, Burnside was completely healed, and yeah, first, first charge, dead. So, we finish him. Looks like I do end up activating my horses now. He doesn't see it. Uh, I'm going to get this guy easily. Looks like these other three are going to be pretty easily easily done as well. He is moving all his guys off the hill. And he did move his horses out of position. And I'm going to notice it right now and activate my square. It's going to be perfect. He doesn't pull up. And he does get pulled up though. Uh, so that right there was amazing and that's going to be how that ends uh, because since he didn't notice that he's definitely not going to notice this I am taking out his how he's at this point um, I'm not showing you much on this side just because it's just all clean up work at this point um, everyone's done it's, it's all it's all done it's now just focusing on here what he really needed to do is protect these Howie, so he had a chance, but now it's not going to be good for him. Um, this is ours. I'm going to bring right into these Fusiliers to get them to stop firing. Got a man before he could square up. Um, square up. I mean, just square up. Right? If there's horses in the vicinity, just square up. It makes it where I can't charge you. And now, not only am I getting your howitzers, you're now 30 guys less than what you were. Uh, so. I will lose this horse. I will end up saving this horse. It has 42, and I got rid of all his, all his cannons. So that was a that was a bad day for him. Actually, there's 40 guys I took out. Wow. All right, let's go check over here. Uh, did I am finally gonna get this Polish Legion? Oh man, the Eighth Life Regiment. They are just championing. I can't wait to see their stats. So now at this point, I need to get these guys out of here. 38, not a bad, not a bad way to get them out. Uh, but now we just need to figure out uh, a way to go and attack the second hill. <laughs> but luckily, we still have a good amount of army, uh, and the and this guy already gave up a lot of his other. Um, well, I wouldn't even say a lot. He gave up some of his other uh, line infantry. To, reinforced but not enough he should have committed everything and now it's just about a matter of cleanup so I'm gonna fast forward here I'm, get, I'm gonna be a little froggy with this musketeer but also it's gonna be a distraction I'm gonna take up about two or three lines to where he needed down here and they're just gonna be firing on my lone musketeer up here and gonna be a huge distraction and he needs as many bullets as he can get down here, because this is this is happening. This is the Armada, and honestly, he should have probably gotten in a better position than what this is. 
This is no real clear advantage of why you pick this spot except for the stakes. And yeah, the stakes are fine, but at the same time, it's uh, it's there's no hill advantage, there's no terrain, like there's no trees, no nothing. So yeah, he's still being still being fun over there. Uh, Burnside does have Prussian Fusiliers. Those are a hundred. I think that's the same thing as the Voltigers. Uh, I do have the rifles, so I get 125. So he, the Voltigers cannot get my uh, cannot shoot my Schwarzen. Or how do you say it? Schwarzen? I don't know. That, you guys can make fun of me. But uh, yep, that's uh, gonna be a little long range battle. But at this point, we have the numbers, so we're gonna press our advantage here in just a second. I didn't realize how many, I, I mean, I knew I was being a distraction up here, but my goodness, he really has me outflanked over here, so I'm just going to retreat him. Oh, 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 oh. So Nelson, or uh, oh, uh, Burnside, he said, you know, I, I feel a little bad. I mean, I don't even want to use the cannons. I said, no, bring the cannons, need them, got to finish them. But look at this little hokey business. He has one, two, three, four volt gears, and they put all the stakes on this side. And we barely have any horses left, I think. So I'm going to start moving my guys in position. I'm going to get on their left flank uh, and really start to finish it off. Um, Birdside's going to go on to the top, kind of crest this hill a little bit, and just start firing down on him, get a little bit of an advantage. We're still firing from the front with our long range. He doesn't want to move in front of these stakes, which is fine. I'll just keep shooting him in from the range. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to get position on the side. And yeah, I think I just moved everything down. So yeah, he's. But notice. He still has those two guys up there. Now he's moving them down, and now I can push back up with them. So this is death row right here. You don't want to be on this side. <laughs> two flanking line infantry at you. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I made you. I missed that one. I missed it. Oh, I saw the bodies falling though. Ugh, poor guys. Just know. You know you're done. You know you're done. Writing, writing letters to mama at home. Or the wives. Oof. Ow, 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 ow. Alright. Uh, a little tactical battle. Oh, yeah. Move around the flank. So I'm actually going to start shooting them in the back at this point. So it's just a full envelopment on my end. Uh,. Bro, Burnside, we st oh yeah, we got we activated the cav. Uh, looks like we're gonna go get the general, get that finished up, get the morale going, and I even push my line infantry in front of my uh, long range. So it's just it's it's this is how you finish them. An enemy right here. You know, both the gears are doing pretty decent though. So yeah, we got into the Fusiliers, we got to Polish here. Uh, yeah, there's really not a lot more he can do. He should have helped his guy. Let's just be honest, call a spade a spade. He should have helped his brethren. And because he didn't, it is uh, that's why he lost. But good game to our opponents. Uh, I feel like they were new. Uh, they didn't, they let us do things that probably should have lost us the game. Like we charge uphill and I guess 2v1 and if they just reinforced one of them it probably would have been a little different ball game uh, just because going uphill against anyone is going to be a tough tough thing to do but then if you uh, but if you have someone reinforcing you then it's dang near impossible even for this 2v1 but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, though, good game to our opponents. I think uh, we did play these guys one more time. They were so infatuated that we were beat them with the Prussians, that they were pressure themselves. And we'll show you that uh, video here uh, after this one. But 
this is a this is a good one. This is a good learning experience for him, I think. Um, I love this map. I mean, look at the devastation on it. Like, here's four corners and a town in the middle. It's just an awesome layout. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, I guess we'll see it next time. But let's see the MVPs of the match. Looks like uh, Burnside deployed the most. I uh, was the second most, and then our friend right here was uh, third and uh, fourth for as many people brought. And I think, I'm guessing this is the guy with the uh, howitzers because he's less guys and also less kills. Uh, looks like uh, this guy brought, uh, was the team MVP of the match. He got 1,294, but I guess if you're defending uphill, then yeah, you're going to get that. But let's see who the MVP of my team was. Wow. The foot guards, 214. Well, well, well. And then the 8th Life Regiment, they did so much work in this one. Uh, it, they deserve to be number 2. And the foot guards again. So, I mean, there's there's another match right there where all my foot guards did the best. Um, this is our did get over 100 kills. Land work at 72. That's respectable. Uh, long range only getting 59. That's alright, though. Yeah, but all in all, it was a good and fun match but uh until next time we will see you then